know we are just days away from school vacation week and if you're starting to think about what to do with the kids and build your list of at-home activities we've got some super fun must-dos that are not going to break the bank this yes year. we have Sophia Moon founder Hi. of SM Art Studio and you say that you can use the same supplies to do multiple projects which That's we good. love absolutely Think constraints, think minimal. Ooh. Um, here I have some materials that are okay. very basic. Um, you can get them anywhere, but you probably also just already have, have them, them at home. Yeah. So I have here like just a piece of cardboard, change up the material. Yeah. Um, we have just plain um, drawing paper, like mixed media paper, construction paper, which sometimes we're like, what do we do with all this construction yeah. paper? Mm -hmm. And then these are just pieces of paper, like think old paintings, think you know, your kid just kind of went wild on the paper and you're mm -hmm. like, what do we do? Yeah. Um, so you can collect those types of things. Um, and the focus today is collage. Like, how can we do collage? That's Ooh, great. I love that. My kids come home with a lot of this stuff. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> I know. I don't want to throw it out, but I also exactly. don't really want to keep it. Exactly. So this so is a great way to Yes. 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 Repurpose. Repurpose. Upcycle. So I also have paints. These are simple um, watercolor paints. Everyone has them at home, just kind of sitting there. Crayons scissors and glue. Okay, so those are the brushes. basics. Yeah. Basics. And then we're going to turn that into all of these masterpieces. Absolutely. And sort of looking at age range and ability, right? Absolutely. So is this where we would start these, with the younger? Yeah, so these are really simple. If you have a toddler at home, think um, this is a collage. This is how um, I would prompt the project if I was at home trying to get my toddler set up. Mm -hmm. It's just a piece of cardboard, but this you is can... great for all those old Amazon boxes. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes, we know the we ones have that we're hiding. The ones yes. that we're hiding. Yes. Um, and if you have any cardboard that's white on one side, it's mm -hmm. a great starting mm -hmm. point. Um, what I like to do for small hands, for instance, is to cut strips that are about an inch, mm -hmm. um, and then for little ones, I cut incisions. Okay. It's easier for them to rip. Oh, oh that's So for smart. toddlers, that yeah. sensory experience of just ripping, How sorting, and then gluing. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect like mine, obviously, as a teacher sample. It's going to be yeah. a little more but that's even the elaborate. Even detail of the beads exactly. on top with yeah. the pipe cleaner is so thoughtful. Like you said, yeah. for the little ones, that's a great brain activity to sort of organize, yes. and tear, all and that And they love concept. ripping. And they then um, the same squares, but turned into yes. a rainbow. And what you do for this one, the way I would prompt something for a little artist is to just take crayons or markers and just draw the lines out. And this helps preschoolers sort out their colors, so they're oh. learning colors, they love the rainbow. Again, if they decide to go rogue, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. It's still cute, like it's still the <laughs> rainbow. And to me, as the parent, it's like, this would take a little time. Yeah. Yes. And when I'm home with the kids, I'm just yes. looking at the day in terms of chunks of yes. time and like blocking it out. And this yeah. looks like it would take a little time. So that's a great thing. And it's also <laughs> engaging. There's the cutting of the paper, there's the gluing of the paper, yeah. and it's it's constantly engaging. So little artists will sit there for 30, 45 minutes. It's so funny. My daughter always loved organizing, even yeah. when she was like really little. It's very fun for them to do that. Yes, that My son fine. does not like to organize. So <laughs> cutting and gluing is happening here, but this looks yes. a little more advanced. Yeah. yeah, so this is a lion. Um, so I drew out a simple lion face with a sharpie here to just show you what a prompt would look like. Very nice. It's a circle. Draw eyes, put a nose, tell them it's a lion, and then start. <laughs> to, to, Yours is they're very gullible. Than mine. They're very yeah. gullible. Just tell them it's a lion, and they'll make it a lion. Um, and what I provided here was some old painted paper. So again, the upcycling. I love of, that you're reusing. Yeah. Them. Yes. Yeah. And just cut them into strips that are easy for them. Mm -hmm. um, I also presented um, three different types of scissors. These are for toddlers. They have kind of a spring back. So the toddlers don't get so frustrated oh my, trying to I open and close. I never knew that's yeah. what that was for. Oh, and then a little squiggly for a, yes. some festive. Oh. Um, and then you have next level. A, next level. A hamburger. It looks delicious. Yeah. So Yum. I brought some next level for the older kids who are home who need a bigger challenge. Yeah. Now this is also where painted paper, deliberate paint painting paper works. So you yeah. have old repurposing of paintings, but here you can actually say, Next paint level. a sheet of yellow paper, paint a sheet of purple paper. Uh, Sophia, you also have so many great ideas on your Instagram. I yes. love following yes. SM. Thank great you follow. so much. Oh, You're gonna save February break for yes, so many families. Thank you for 